Okay, well, <laughs> wait, uh, uh. we just rest it up and uh, we're watched back. You snore while we were having breakfast. You were so cute. We packed our bags, but didn't want to wake you up. Hurry and meet us at the harbor. Why did you guys not wake me up? I could have had, oh, man, Trin. I don't get breakfast either. Man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, with that out of the way. We can need to move on with the next portion of the town. We could actually get to uh, move on to uh, our next destination. We would agree that the weapon exists. Heavenly powers or not, it must be either lost or deeply concealed in the depth of the earth. Is that the a blade of excursion workmanship? Oh yes, there's the uh, just like in the um, Oceanhorn one about the the coral saber. I think that's what it was called. Um. There is an ultimate weapon, uh, an ultimate sword here as well, and that is pretty significant. Um, but we're not going to be able to see that weapon for some time, though. Well, our the apartment is up here. Goodness, I didn't think it was all the way up here on the top of the roof. It must be a pain to get up here because there's not really there's not really much of ease of access to get up here. Goodness. I'll break my stuff here and grab my some oil shells and everything. Why not light stuff on fire? Why, why could not that be problematic? All right, it's time to go to the harbor. Since we explored the town the last uh, last part here, so we're going into the harbor to fully to start off into our next adventure. We're going to the land of Pura, and uh, and where the Auroras live, to return the uh, emblem of Earth. I will stay here and study those dark troopers. Okay, so you're gonna okay, Master Mary, you're gonna stay here and study those dark troopers. Okay, we'll handle this. Hold on, Archimedes has left you a gift in the Grand Core break room facility. The chest is locked. Use this key to open it in the Grand Core break room. You got the Grand Core treasure chest key. Okay. Uh do we should we get that now? <laughs> uh, I kind of forgot about it. Uh, we'll worry about it. We'll get that later when we come back. Uh, we're not going to be worried about that too much. All right, what do you got, Chin? That Archimedes trusted us with this mission. There is no, no greater, greater honor, honor for a knight than to serve his king. I guess your not. First big mission, right? Don't worry, I won't let you screw it up. Hey, I'm just joking. You're doing great for a rookie. I am not okay. Fine, I am a rookie, of course. I am Ambassador Iron Tavern. Are you ready to begin our journey to Pyrta? Yes, I am. Let's go. Let's go to Pyrta. Let's go, folks. On our boat to adventure. We're going to Pyrta. There was something I did not uh, show uh, earlier. Um, there is a prison that you can explore. And they and basically that prison uh, shows up optional bosses for you to take down. Um, so, an optional bosses that you get, if you take them down, you get um, experience for it and nothing really more. World, but I have never been to Perta. I can't wait to see the legendary Force Shrine Pyramid. Oh, I can't wait for it either. And the Perta is going to be a massive wooded area. Is this your first trip to Perta? Yes, this is my first time. And now there's two clans, Talon and I. So during this war, again, during the Dire Folk War, Archimedes um, basically wanted to unite the the the, uh, the, the guild folk and and the, the Talon folk here, to essentially to uh, you know stop the Dire Folk War. Not knowing that removing the emblems basically oh, unleashed demons, and that's kind I of a problem. Be more proud than I am today. I carry the that emblem and that emblem of Earth seems a lot smaller than I what I've seen it previously. That can it change sizes? So, 
So I, I guess the uh, the emblems can change their size whenever they feel like. Seems to be very keen to get this grand core of his into completion. Well, I hope this grand core goes into into fruition. Hey, you know, heck, if it basically, you know, uh, keeps Arcadians from basically being killed and from other enemies, and I'm all for it. Why not? Let's travel to Pura. Pura or something. I think it's called Pura. But we could also get access to our boat, too. So we can actually drive our own boat. If it loads up, there we go. I was getting a little scared there for a moment. And now we're back on the ocean. So we got a lot to explore. See, we are starting right here in the center of the island. And now we explore down there. If you can't, you can actually go back to the, um... To the, uh to the pirate's hideout and explore it more if you want to. There really isn't no reason to go back there unless you want to go find a chest or two that's, uh, that's unlockable. Over there is the guild folk area of Oceana. We'll visit them later. And there's also small islands you can actually, uh, I think you can, uh, ride your boat up to. That you can, uh, explore smaller islands if you wish. Um... But also this island is... Again, this world is so big. And I'm glad that there is no... Um, you know, straight on points of sailing. Because that was something I did, actually didn't like in the first game. Where that you just picked a destination. You were automatically there. And all you had to do was just, you know... Get a gun and basically shoot down enemies. That's all you could do. But here you can actually, you know, have access to travel this boat every wish. Every way you wish. And yay! Oh, I did a 360 turn. That's cool. All right, this is a frat town. Let's go. This is our wooded area. Um, because I think in Oceanhorn One, um, the Oris was used to live in a foresty type town, and also the dungeon that was on the island was actually of a forest type setting. So I guess this is how the island. Uh, looked like in the past. And it looks just as beautiful as ever. And this is such a beautiful looking game. Though indeed it does chug. For the most part, folks. It does indeed chug. But it, it's not too bad of an area. But it's like, it's supposed to be like a tropical area and whatnot, so. Let's go over here. Um... Oh. New challenge revealed. Make your way to the Aura Sacred Grounds. Yes. We have to make that way too. New challenges are available to us. Also, the water is still deadly to us. Yes, it basically will kill your stamina. I hope I do not get rusty. My spare parts are custom made. <laughs> Don't worry, Jen. We'll make sure to get you a nice oil bath to basically clean your joints up and whenever is needed. But as you can see, there's a chest down there. Can't get it. Because we don't have the ability to basically explore underwater yet. <laughs> I don't... If that is something I find very awkward in terms of... Um, of uh, 3D exploration and whatnot. Where it's like, you can't explore underwater. Why? Because we don't know how to swim. But you can jump in the water and your stamina will go down ridiculously fast. It's like, Why? <laughs> I know that swimming takes a lot out of you, but at the same time, however, like I don't think it should drain the stamina that quickly. I see a chest here that we can access. Ah, oh, a heart container shard. We'll take that. Cool. We have to find one more in our hearts. We'll go to five. That'll be really nice. Uh, let's see. What can we explore in this town? This is a pretty expensive town, not gonna lie. And why does the pure, why do the auras have pipes here? These are more of a natural, a natural race. You know, more of like, you know, nature versus over technology and whatnot. Because Ardaeans, or the Arcadians are most like, you know, humans which develop uh, technology. Huh, that's interesting that there is technology here too. I guess it wouldn't be too out of the ordinary for having the natural way of life, you know, be enhanced by technology, even though some uh, races would probably, you know, dismay using 
uh, technology. Because, you know, they want to... <laughs> they just want to live out life like with naturals. They don't like... They basically detest technology. Can you see that bubble and black feathers on the other side of the bridge? He's the one they call Chief. Most people across the clans respect him for what he did in the Darfolk War. Still, I can't have feeling a little nervous being around him. I wonder why. Why are you so nervous around your chief? The chief is supposed to help you out. Isn't that right? This is our shop. What would you like to buy? We can buy emergency kits, our dragon fire drops, and electrolyte shots. But there's a chest here. Which we're getting free money for! We found Amber. We got 50 coins. Basically stealing it from his own stock. <laughs> you stole that. No, you didn't. The chest was unlocked. It's a red chest, which means it can be accessed by anyone. <laughs> At least I'm glad that the jars and pots and everything are all one and the same. You know, they're all the same. The one manufacturer makes all the same pots. And more exploration. We get more uh, embers for our fire spells. We get here. There's a coin there. Okay, nothing more in here. Out the door. And again, the the hint of exploration and to make you know almost every room you know explorable is something to be of note. Because again, it's just like you know there are some like you know some open world games they just don't. There's like they may be um, towns and whatnot with buildings you could probably enter, but the doors are not coded to open. And I like it now that this has you know rooms that you can get into. See, here's that, here's that lighting issue I was telling you about earlier. Like, we're underneath this thing, and everything else around us is dark, even outside. Like, the lighting just goes so dark from time to time. It's weird, uh, to say the least. Uh, let's see, what's up here? To the deep jungle. Well, we don't want to go to the jungle just yet. I want to explore what we can see here, because there's a lot of stuff to explore. Uh, I think there is something in the uh, hotel that will allow us to gain a key of sorts. That will allow us to get something accessible here in town, I want to say. But we don't have that ability. I don't want to explore the plot just yet. Because we have a we have a piece of wood that's worth 20 coins. <laughs> Bring all these jars, get our lightning uh, rocks back. Booyah. There we go. Again, this owl statue gets around, <laughs> and it's commonly made. That's why it's only worth 20 coins. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Let's see here. Da, da, da. Follow ambassador's location to, uh, to the to the hotel or to the hotel. I believe this is where. Um... Oh, this guy really, really didn't want people to come visit him as he built his house on, on the rock face. With no other way to get here except for this ladder. If this ladder fails, you know, he can't be visited by anyone except for people who can fly. Oh, and he's got a chest, which is... He to the high nest chest. Which I believe is in the rooms our, our hotel rooms are at. So let's head that way, actually. Because I think that's all we can explore here. Let's go back. Again, it's a little, it's a little tiring that you have to walk up a, climb up a ladder for this. But look at that, that scenery is so beautiful. <laughs> okay, good. I didn't get fall damage. Nice. What's up here? Is this? Oh, this is the path to the, uh, to the deep jungle, which is right up there. Okay. Ooh, what's that? That's a collection point. It's a collection point, but it's something I could probably get. What's here? Coins. Of course it is. It wouldn't be anything less. Alright. Let's go see about plot, shall we? We need to advance the plot of the game. Because this is where... This was where... When I first played this game, this was the first place I got lost. Because this place is massive. Again, massive with a capital M. Oh. Um, please rest here tonight, Zed. We will head towards the mountains tomorrow morning. We will head cool. towards the mountains tomorrow. Spend the night at the end. Sure thing. This is the end. Let's go into, let's go find our room, shall we? Uh nothing here we can kill or rip apart. 
Welcome to Illistat, Alcadians. Ambassador Irontown has arranged rooms for your party upstairs. Oh boy, what a hotel. The decor, the decor is beautiful. Is beautiful. Just... Everything just melts. Well, it is a jungle hut. In a in jungle. A jungle. <laughs> yeah, thanks for thanks for the killjoy, Jen. Thanks for the killjoy there. So let's go upstairs to our rooms. Uh, yeah, not too bad rooms. The hotels look really nice. Uh, let's see, is there a... Can we go into his room first? I don't know. Can we? No, the doors are locked. The doors are locked. So let's get into... These rooms. And uh, anything I need access? No? No. Let's talk to Iron Talon first. Iron Talon! Hey, buddy! We're here. I will keep the emblem of Earth safe with me in my room. Your room? Yeah, the, is end, of the, the end of the corridor. Okay. We will that is our rooms. Okay. This place is perfect for a little holiday. Pleasant atmosphere all the way around. I wouldn't know this would be pleasant atmosphere. Humidity would get to me after a while. Did you know there are two All right, this is our bed. Let's just go to sleep. Oh yeah, man. This guy knows how. This our hero knows how to sleep well. I'll give it that. What the? Let's get some sleep. We have an important mission waiting for us. And I love it how basically we went to sleep too early, and now the dialogue is. Ambassador Iron Talon, quick. <laughs> Trent, you basically your dialogue keeps getting skipped. <laughs> Well, the lighting is certainly different. Can we open this room? Yes, we can. I believe this is a chest in here. We no? The emblem and Iron Talon, we can save oh boy. We got, we got Metal Iron Talon's Army. problems here. Let's go up here. They broke in from the roof. Oh, there's the feathers. There's somebody running away. He must have the emblem of Earth on him. Oh, well, we're gonna have to stop him, won't we? But is there anything here I can see? I th I swear there was a key you could get the that was. The jungle. Oh, go! Jump this way. There we go. Sweet. Ooh. We need to get to the lost treasure. We need to get that back. New challenge is available. I'm wondering where that key went. <laughs> That's what uh, now I'm questioning for. Cause I usually can find a key that was really uh, the key that's up there for the key to the nest. But maybe we'll find it later. Very fast in the jungle, we oh yeah, they'll be uh, Oruses can basically blend very well within the jungle. Oh boy, and we're gonna have to face against them now too as an enemy. That's gonna be fun. What's in here? The guy got is getting away, but first exploration. Anything in here? Silent zone. That looks like to be some way the doors can open. But I don't see a reason to open it though. Red feather. Here's a hidden with us. And hidden the live. Wait a minute. Rule breaker. Real rubber bake. Silver talon. Red feather. Silk bottom. Bonehead. Bright eyes. P.S. I see there's a treasure hidden in this library. But how do you activate said treasure? Or classic huckleberries. Uh, can I move this? I can't move the silent zone. Hmm. We'll figure that out later. Right now, we gotta worry about Grand Talon. This, we gotta worry about that emblem of Earth. If it gets in the wrong hands, I don't know what will happen. Also, Island Town is nowhere to be seen. He was attacked. Let's go to the deep jungle. Let's come on, last. Let's go to the deep jungle. Deep jungle. Woo! To the deep jungle here at long last. Here we are, folks. Chief of the Eye Clan and his goons must have a hideout somewhere in the jungle. Yeah, there will be Trin. And again, Trin is, is staying the the uh, the the plain the the painfully obvious. Which, that is something I'm going to say is kind of horrendous for for Trin's character. That she's, she's overly 
telling you, over telling you everything that you already know. And again, I'm not going to say that she's not a bad character. Is that, oh boy, here we go. Iron, we have now. Oh boy. We have these new uh, Oris' characters, these fighters. These guys are spearheaders. Luckily, though, however, we have fire at our disposal. Light these guys up. They have fire on their shields, so we might as well let them burn. As you can see, they have stamina bars too. If their stamina's gone, they can't really do anything. Fire spells right at them. I know I'm hurting Jin too at this point, but I don't mind. Oh boy. Uh, heal. Yes, heal spell please, thank you. Oh yeah, come on. You're going down. Critical hit. And they're dead. Also, sometimes now that new that these enemies will also drop their own weapons, which does in turn you can use uh, on your own for a little bit before their charge runs out and, and they break. But here we go, folks. Our f final spell. Yeah, this is the ice spell. You got the ice spell container for the caster gun. You can hold five units of spells, but the capacity can be expanded. Gather ice material to fill up the ice spell container. So yeah, now I think that we can consider it as cold will now be allowed us to pick up as ice material. Like this. The Kappa Stones. So that works out in our favor. But what does the ice do? Ice is very limited in what it can do though, which is unfortunate. Ice really does only really one thing. It can freeze enemies, true. But, if I can just get up here, it does allow us to create ice platforms. And we can use it to float across the water. Until we really get the ability to swim across water, this is going to be our only means of crossing water for the time being. Better not to know it next time when we get, when we get into the uh, Oceana or the Ocean characters. Or the Guild Folk area. Yeah, we're going to have to worry about how to cross the water without drowning. Let's get up here. Again, you could float down the entire river on ice, but that means you have to uh, worry about the enemies that will hit you. And besides, exploring the uh, the left side here for all these all these little tree trunks and everything holds treasure. So you might as well explore what you can. Because this just follows the river. So you might as well explore what you can here. And besides, you don't want to just want to be sitting around. Something drove them away from the jungle. Ooh, these guys broke away from the original. Uh, this must be part of the original of uh, La Pratt before they just broke away for their own for their own benefit. Hey, buddies! How about you fall down and fall into the water? Oh boy! Ooh, oh, these guys! That guy has a mace. Oh boy! You stop hitting me! Now, these guys are hard to dodge. Are they... Oh, ow! Um, heal please. <laughs> heal spell. Thank you! Come on, you. I'm not afraid of you. And also, these island talents, they also know how to use, uh... Caster guns as well, so make use of it when you can. You got that too? So can I! Oh boy. Also, he fell down. Booyah! Mmm! That's tasty. Tasty, tasty death for everyone. Oh, sorry, Jin. Sorry, I did not mean to attack you while you were on fire. I apologize. Nothing. That, oh, a pirate's musket. That is something you can also pick up as a as a another gun again before we said before that you can't pick up a, a another enemy's gun uh, to use temporarily. There won't be as powerful as your caster gun, really, to be honest. But still, it's just good to have in case, in case you want to use different weapons. Oh yeah, look at that. Sometimes they can be more powerful, and there are enemies that will have better weapons uh, later on. 
that will have stronger uh, guns and whatnot, and you can pick those up and use them. Even especially weapons too, like swords and whatnot. Yeah, swords too. What the? What was that? You! How about you get burned, buddy? Uh, can we actually use electricity? I don't think we can. We'll see what happens here. Yeah, see, like that. Electricity isn't doing much of anything other than shocking the guy. And fire. Oh, I want a gun ammo. There you go. Critical hit. Can get the experience before I drown. There we go. Sweet. That is awesomeness. All right, where are we to head? This place is confusing, and especially, it doesn't help that the lighting. I can see right here. I'm just barely underneath a little bit of shadow, and now the game feels like we need to darken up a place. Oh, that's a scarabera. I thought that was Jen for a second. <laughs> Sorry, Jen. I keep thinking you're an enemy. <laughs> there we go. There's a chest up there. We can't get it yet because we don't have the ability to get around. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do a little bit of exploring. Again, this is going to take me a little bit to get around because this map is confusing, to say the least. Um, hmm. Burn the thing away. Booyah! Ooh, he just got Breath of the Wild. <laughs> he just got destroyed by rocks. How how inconvenient of him. We just gotta go and explore this place. Again, this place is big for all the wrong reasons. You need to die. Thank you very much. Again, a lot of enemies, a lot of everything around us. Okay, we can't go any further that way. That's a that's a that's experience. Kill the thing for experience. Ow. I'll light you all on fire. I need to switch to gun ammo if I'm gonna keep shooting this gun willy nilly. There we go. Sweet. Alright. I need to head towards the mark over that away. Let's see, what does the sign say? Road to the tower. Okay, we'll take the road to the tower. Do 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 do. Alright, what we got here? What do we have here? Plants in the way. This is the road to the tower. Like it said. Would make a good hiding place, huh? Oh, you would, you would be all right. You would be Let's right, Jin. Where? Oh, experience! Booyah! Booyah! Experience in an enemy. Nice. I'll take. I'll take that. Uh, we want to go into this place first. Let's jump in here. Drop down to the underground temple ruins. <laughs> 